Imagine waking up every morning with a sense of certainty and assurance in your heart, knowing that you can get whatever you want from our Heavenly Father and that He will answer all your prayers and grant your heart desires. What if I told you that? By doing and following the simple scriptural instruction of Jeremiah, chapter 29, verse 13, you could unlock and enjoy the endless possibilities of what God has in store for your day and life. This scriptural instruction gives us direct access to our Heavenly Father. It was written by the prophet Jeremiah himself. This scripture holds the key to finding God and experiencing all the goodness and grace that is readily available to all those who seek Him with all their hearts. Today, we will explore the profound impact of seeking God as you wake up in the morning and witnessing the blessings that unfold throughout your day. If you believe God can make a difference in your life today, let us stand together in faith. I will pray a reverent and inspiring prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus. So watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. My dear brothers and sisters, one of the things we should never stop doing is seeking the face of our Heavenly Father because He is the one who sustains us. In Psalms chapter 63, verse 1, David said, O God, Thou art my God, early will I seek Thee, my soul thirsteth for Thee, my flesh longeth for Thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. In this scripture, David understood the importance of seeking God early. If David, a king, and the man after God's heart could continually seek God, then how much more us who are mere people? This is to say that we have no excuse when it comes to seeking God. As believers, it is extremely important that we continually seek God. Seeking our Heavenly Father is not something we should do only when we need something from Him. It should be our way of life and something we should do always. The book of Psalms 105 verses 4 says, Look to the Lord and His strength. Seek His face always. The key point in this scripture is, seek His face always. By now, you already know that when you seek God's face always, you are bound to always find Him. When you rise in the morning, the first thing you should do is to seek God's face. When you go to God and tell Him that you want Him to be a part of your day and life, you are indirectly telling Him that you solely depend on Him and that you cannot do without Him. The book of Jeremiah chapter 29 verses 13 says, You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. This scripture also assures us that whenever we seek God, we shall find Him as long as we seek Him with all our hearts. Have you been encountering any delays with getting answers to your prayers? Even when you seek the face of God every day, if yes, then the problem could be the state of your heart. You could have been seeking God with a half or divided heart. As believers, we are not supposed to seek God and not find Him. If this happens, then it is an indication that something is wrong. If you realize that your prayers never get answered, you need to check the state of your heart because it could be hindering you from finding God and receiving your blessings. Many people often ask, which areas of my life should I seek God for? The answer is all areas of your life. Whether it is business, academics, marriage, relationships, finances, health, or any other area of your life that requires God's presence, do not hesitate to seek Him. One thing you should know is that when you seek God and find Him, He will provide a solution to whatever issue or challenge you may be experiencing. Are there any storms or challenges in your life? When you seek God over your challenges and find Him, 
then be rest assured that your challenges will end. As believers, you should know that no one seeks and finds God and remains the same. It has never happened and will never happen. God has never forsaken those who seek Him, and this can be confirmed in the book of Psalms, chapter 9, verse 10, where it says, Those who know your name trust in you, for you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. Most people believe they should only seek God's face over extremely important issues in their lives, but that is not true. You should actually seek God over every small and big issue of your life. As a believer, continually seeking God is one of the best things you can do for yourself. This is because when you constantly go to God and seek His face over your life, you are indirectly telling Him, I want you always to be a part of me and my life. In the book of Psalms, chapter 34, verse 10 says, The lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. This scripture proves that God takes care of those who seek Him, and He never turns His back on His children. With God by your side, be rest assured that you will overcome every challenge or storm of life as long as you do not stop seeking Him. Brethren, it does not matter what you are going through right now. All you have to do is seek God with all your heart and you will find Him. Are you unsure of and anxious about what your future holds? Seek God with all your heart. Are you going through any health academic, or financial challenges. Seek God with all your heart. Whatever it may be, seek God, and you will find Him. Do not think that there is nothing thing that is impossible for God to do. If the power of God could divide the Red Sea, then you should know that your challenge or problem is too little before Him. Everything you want out of your life is possible, you just need to seek God with all your heart, and you will find Him because He is not far from you. The book of Acts 17 verses 27 says, God did this so that they would seek Him and perhaps reach out for Him and find Him, though He is not far from any one of us. Beloved, we have already established that seeking God as you rise in the morning is one of the best gifts you can give yourself. So, my friend, I encourage you to adopt the lifestyle of seeking God with all your heart at the start of your day, and you will definitely find Him. Stay with us until the end to allow your hearts to receive the full blessings of this blessed prayer from Jesus. I encourage you to say this prayer daily with me so you can see God's work in your life and receive all its blessings. To our wondrous, sovereign, living, loving God, let us pray. Everlasting Father, King of kings and Lord of lords, I thank you for your unconditional love and mercies in my life. Father, today I have come before thee in all humility to ask that you give me the grace and the strength to seek you wholeheartedly. Search my heart. O Lord, and see if there are any selfish desires in me. Cleanse and purify my heart, so that the only person I may think of is you. Please, Lord, teach my heart to love you continually and seek you wholeheartedly. Teach me to constantly put you first before anything else. Most High God, it is my earnest desire to have a deep personal relationship with you, but no matter how hard I try to stay on the right track, my flesh keeps getting in the way. O oh, Father, today I ask that you give me the ability to build a stronger personal relationship with you. I know that I am not perfect and will definitely make mistakes along the way, but please, Lord, let your power and Holy Spirit overwhelm me and continually keep me on the right track. Father, 
Grant me the wisdom to seek your truth daily and the strength to walk in your ways. Nourish my soul with your word and help me grow in faith, hope, and love. Guide me through trials so that I may emerge refined and mature in spirit. Fill my heart with your peace and joy so that I may reflect your light to others. Let your Holy Spirit mold me into the person you created me to be, growing ever closer to you. Adonai, in moments of doubt and fear, Lord, remind me of your constant presence. Strengthen my faith and help me trust in your plan. Even when I cannot see the way, let me heart be filled with your peace and cast out all anxieties. Grant me the courage to face challenges, knowing you are with me. Surround me with your love and assurance and let your promises be my anchor. Guide my steps and calm my spirit so that I may overcome fear with your strength. Abba, teach me to trust in your perfect plans, even when I cannot understand them. Help me to surrender my own desires and fears to your greater wisdom. Let my heart be filled with faith, knowing that you work all things for my good. When I face uncertainty, remind me of your unwavering promises and steadfast love. Guide my steps and give me patience as I wait on your timing. Let your peace dwell within me, assuring me that you hold my future. Heavenly Lord, I come before you asking that you strengthen and purify me. Purify my heart and mind and cast away all that hinders my growth in you. I ask, O Lord, that you fill me with your Holy Spirit and renew my thoughts and actions to align with your will. Mold me into a new creation, reflecting your love and grace. Strengthen me to let go of old habits and embrace the new life you offer. Empower me to live each day with purpose and passion for your kingdom. Please, Lord, renew my spirit and fill me with your Holy Spirit. Gracious Father, I seek your guidance and direction in all aspects of my life. Illuminate my path with your wisdom and help me discern your will in every decision I face. When I am uncertain, grant me clarity and peace. Lead me by your Spirit, that I may walk in your ways and fulfill the purpose you have for me. Protect me from straying and keep me close to you. Surround me with your love and support and guide my steps toward righteousness. Help me trust your plan and follow where you lead me. Incredible God, I thank you for the gift of community and fellowship you have given to me. Please help me to build strong, loving relationships with those around me. Teach me to support, encourage, and uplift others as we journey together in faith. May our interactions be filled with your love, grace, and understanding. Unite us in purpose and spirit, so that we may grow closer to you and each other. Strengthen our bonds through shared worship, service, and prayer. Let our community be a beacon of your light and love, drawing others to you. Lord, ignite within me a renewed passion for prayer and worship. Draw me closer to you so that my heart may burn with a desire to seek your presence daily. Refresh my spirit and fill me with joy as I come before you in prayer. Deepen my worship, making it genuine and heartfelt. Help me set aside distractions and focus fully on you. Let my prayers be fervent, my worship sincere, and my heart attuned to your will. Strengthen my commitment to spend time with you, growing in faith and love. Guide me in understanding the power of prayer and the beauty of worship so that I may connect with you more intimately. Inspire me to seek you earnestly, finding peace and strength in your presence. May my life be a reflection of your grace as I honor you through prayer and worship. Father, Guide me in living out my faith each day with integrity and love. Strengthen my commitment to follow your teachings 
and reflect your character in all I do. Please help me to be a light in the world, showing kindness, compassion, and humility to everyone I meet. Please give me the courage to stand firm in my beliefs, even in the face of challenges and opposition. May my actions and words consistently reflect your love and truth. Empower me through your Holy Spirit to serve others selflessly, share the gospel boldly, and remain steadfast in prayer. Teach me to rely on your strength and wisdom, seeking your guidance in every decision I make. Let my life be evidence of your grace and mercy, inspiring others to seek and follow you. Help me to grow in faith, hope, and love, and a life that honors and glorifies you. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory for all eternity. Thank you, Lord, for listening and answering my prayer. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Type the words, Praise Jesus, in the comments if you feel this prayer has blessed you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I proclaim all these prayer blessings cover you. I urge you to say this prayer daily to see God's work in your life. Share with us your testimonial when God works in your life in the comments so others will be inspired by the Lord's work. You can help us reach even more people and help spread the gospel by sharing this video with a family member or friend. And remember to subscribe and like our videos to reach others. Our channel, Power Prayers for Jesus, will keep you uplifted and help your relationship with the Lord. Leave any prayer requests below so our Holy Family can pray for you. Additionally, others on this platform and globally seeing this can pray for you. All glory belongs to God alone. May the amazing grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ dwell within each of you.